Hey, welcome back to Ozarks Live. Does that look good? Yeah, it does. Uh, yeah, it does look good. Uh, we're going to show you how to make this. We've got quite the treat for you guys today. It is National Strawberry Shortcake Day. So, of course, we have celebrated. What a day. It's one of the best days ever. Okay, yeah. so we're going to make this. What is this called again? Strawberry Shortcake Fluff Salad. Like, really easy, <laughs> takes a few minutes. And, you know, we're pretty lucky because our producers got all the, you know, cutting out of the way. So now, you know, I keep all my fingers. And we have the fun part of putting it all yeah. together. All right. Now, the first thing that you have to do is this bowl here. That's, that's strawberry pudding. I didn't even know they made strawberry pudding. Did yes, you? they do. And as soon as you open that package, boy, do you smell the strawberries. Interesting. So this is good. So, you know, you, you, you add the Those directions are on the box. You add the milk. You put it in the refrigerator. And five minutes later, Done. It's, it's pudding. So you make that, all right? Okay. And then the next thing you do is get some strawberries, chop them all up. Now, see, the thing about this is you can do it to your own taste and how much you want. Sure. Make, oh, that's right. Before we do that, we're going to make it, you got to get the whip topping like a Cool Whip or something. And you use about two-thirds of this thing. I'm just going to dump it in here. I don't think you have to measure this a whole no, lot. No, no. This is like, yeah, it. just kind of do it. And then mix it all together. Don't you love that they call this a salad? Yes, yes. I just think that's a hoot. Salads don't have to just be onions and lettuce well, and things like that. This little salad is going to be the best non healthy little salad you ever had. Okay. I'm just sure. So now we, we got all of this mixed up now. So there you see. Okay. Uh, now we add our strawberries. Be, add the strawberries. Okay, the whole thing? Just dump them on in Boom. there. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna Oops. fold them in and mix them in or whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. Get them all covered up there. Oh, this is good stuff right away. You can't. That's beat gonna be this. good stuff. This is almost like a trifle. You know a trifle yeah. when you put the cake and you put the berries and the stuff together. Yeah. This is a little bit like that, but you actually stir this up. Or I would say that you know if you try to take this, do not trifle with me. Go ahead. Now uh, you yeah. can add some. Now we we used a little bit of angel food cake. Of course you can use that. You can use. You can use, of course, shortcake, or you know, if you've got something else you want to try putting Angel in this food mix, is so go right good. in. Oh yes, it is. You can't beat that. And again, you do it to how you want it. You don't. You don't have to have a recipe of well, should I have a half a pound of cake or no? You just mix this all up. All right. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Oh, it is. It is good. And yeah, I think you can mix it as much as you want. I really think you could layer it and you'd be fine. But yep. I now one more ingredient. Throw some marshmallows in there. Now, see, this is, I, in my opinion, I'm not sure the marshmallows are necessary, but this is not my recipe. I'm just saying. Well, throw them on in if there. If you need a little extra sugar high happening, then go to town with your strawberries. And if you really want to get fancy, drizzle the whole thing with chocolate syrup when you're done. Well, that's true, too. When you oh, that would that. be a good now, thing. Now too. you're talking. So now, okay. So you, you have you have the pudding, you have the whip topping, you have the cake, you have the strawberries, you've mixed it all together, you put a few marshmallows in there. And then basically what you're going to do is you can serve it up in individual servings, just mm -hmm. like this right here. And then, you know, garnish it with a few oh few of the strawberries and then put a little bit of Whipped cream on the top. I think this looks really good. See, and, and someone was yeah. very decorative and put the little dollop, but I would do just like that on top. And then, if you want to take a strawberry here, let me take this in. That is crazy. I'm sorry I got in the way there. But boom, just like that. And you have a dessert fit for a king. That's very tasty. If you want to keep this bowl in front of you, that works too. It depends on. It depends on if you can get away with it or and not. And if you're going to share it or not. All right. The yeah. best strawberry shortcake you ever had in your life. I've been over this with you guys. Oh. Forget the shortcake. Ritz crackers are where it's at. If I'm lying, I'm dying, y'all. No, you are. You're telling the truth here. Take some Ritz crackers and put them in a bunch of them. What makes it great is that, that they're salty. So now you have the salty sweet happening. And this is going to be literally the best strawberry shortcake ever. Trust me on this one. Would you? I like it with ice cream. But yeah. Let's do whipped cream. There you go. So there You're you welcome. have it. Four strawberry shortcake yep. day. Thanks for everybody on the show today. Hope you all have a good weekend. I hope you do too. And we'll see you on the girlfriend getaway early Monday. Uh, bye bye.